Hi, I'm Josh Oaks with MediaLeaders.com, and I'm excited in this video to walk you through six steps to using the LinkedIn long form publisher. I've actually never used it, and I've got a team member of mine named Amy Pobletti on the video chat, and she's going to walk us through it. Welcome, Amy. Hi, Josh. I'm really excited to start with you. Well, I'm excited to, to work on this with you. You wrote a blog post, guest blog post, six tips for using the LinkedIn long form publisher. We're going to use one of my posts. All right, everybody that's on the video chat, let's go ahead and jump over to my screen and we're going to look at how this works on Google Hangout. So this is what we want to publish. First of all, we want to on LinkedIn post this blog post, which is on medialeaders.com, how to set up a MailChimp newsletter campaign to get results. And we want to eventually have it on LinkedIn look like this. And we're and gonna walk through the six steps. The reason steps that you're doing is because you'd like to share with your, your LinkedIn first degree um, uh, followers, right? Exactly. So you're saying LinkedIn publisher, you say this in your blog, is used to create long form posts, which is content marketing. And we're going to, you're going to walk us through basically how to do this so that not only do we get people in our email campaign or on our blog and get some SEO, but you're saying my thousands of people that I have here will see this. Now, one of the benefits to this is once I post this, which I have, and if I refresh, it should uh, in the upper right um, walk me through. Oh, there we go. Now, everybody that's watching this, go full screen in the lower right of this YouTube video. It says, Amy Pobletti liked your post, how to set up a MailChimp newsletter. Now we posted this already and she had posted it, uh, you know, and she probably got one up here as well that said, Josh just posted something. Is that right, Amy? Yep, that's exactly what happened. And that's one part of the power. Now what's one of the, the last benefits before we dive into this, every Thursday, what happens to all of these? Every Thursday, LinkedIn puts together an email newsletter and the, the newsletter is comprised of links to all of the LinkedIn posts, long form posts that your first degree connections have put together. So it's called the LinkedIn Pulse and it comes out on Thursday morning and typically it's comprised of the first degree connection posts that have gone on between Monday and Wednesday of that week. So that's why I always recommend if you're going to do a long form post, do it between Monday and Wednesday. Then on Thursday morning, your whole audience, your, your whole readership, all of your first degree connections will get the, the LinkedIn post with your name in it. I love it. Well, let's dive on into my computer screen and let's, let's do this together. So first of all, we're going to go to profile. When you log into LinkedIn, you, you'll see the home button actually up here. So, and then there's three big buttons, as you guys can see here. We're going to go to tip number one or tip zero, if you will. We're going to click publish a post. You guys might be familiar with sharing an update or uploading a photo, but we're going to click publish a post. If the text is small, those of you that are watching this, click the button in the lower right to make it full screen. Okay, now one of the tricks that you have here, Amy, is to ensure the image you use is a rectangular 698 by 400 pixels. Now what I did is I took a little screen, you can screen grab it however you want, but I took an image from a video. This is a video blog where we teach people how to use MailChimp. And I, it's raining outside right now in Los Angeles. How fun is this? We can hear the rain outside. So I went and screen grabbed this 698, I believe it was by 400. And, and I zoomed in a little bit at the time, but I've already got that done here. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. I've, I've already got that over here, we got exactly that size. Those of you that are making your own, it could be too big and you can resize it within LinkedIn, which is kind of cool. So let's go grab that, click on it in here, go pick the one that I already have, as you can see on the right, click open. Boom, and you can drag to reposition. Did I do that correctly, Amy? Yes, that looks great. Um, and the great thing about this particular image that you've selected is that everything important in the image is in the upper two thirds of the of the space. It's important that you don't choose something that has anything important right central bottom because that's where your profile picture goes. Yeah, and you as don't you want to cover right. that. Yeah, you're so right. And that's why it's nice to maybe have some backup images, have some images where the stuff's happening in the upper third, as you said. Okay, and, and that was tip number two. Bear in mind that your, your photo is going to be bottom center. And those of you that are watching this, just a little LinkedIn tip. Make sure your photo is a clear square version of who you are. 
right? I mean, it is a professional network and it puts your bio here. Now let's go grab our headline. I've already been able to steal the headline, how to set up MailChimp news, you know, uh, this, I drop it in here, boom. So we've already dropped that in there. That's awesome. Right. You've got now space that was, here was that the next, uh, was that tip number three? Did I do that right? Tip number three is you have 70 characters. And um, typically, you, the shorter you the, you make your title, the more impactful it is, and the the better it wraps when it displays on the computer screen. This one looks fine. You'll be just fine all the way up to 70 characters. Yeah, and, and if I were to critique myself and say, Josh, how do you get it shorter? Because I'm a really a big believer in, in short and powerful and active words. We could actually delete how to and just put set up a MailChimp newsletter campaign to get results. But for right now, we'll keep it the same. Now, um, let's go ahead and run over step four. Once you are set with the image, it's time to copy and paste into the body of everything. Now, we've already done this. We've already put this over here. I want to walk people through your suggestion. You had a, really, a couple really cool tips. So let's, let's make this 150%. Those of you that are watching this, Let's take a look at, at what Amy suggested. She put a byline here, by Josh Oaks, right? And this links to medialeaders.com about Josh Oaks. I don't really need people to contact me. Your suggestion was contact, which I think is great, but I want people to learn about us, our public speaking stuff. So that was number one. And then you suggested, you said, read this post on Media Leaders. And if I click here, it takes us back over to that post, right? Nice. And then I copied and pasted the content of the blog post, right? So I copied and pasted that all in here. And then the last part, Amy, your set, your suggestion was to um, put this, or well, this is kind of what I did based on RSS readers so that if people steal it, um, this post, how to set up a MailChimp newsletter campaign to get results was first published on Media Leaders. And that way, if some random RSS system goes and steals it, you don't have to say, hey, that really meant this. It just means it was first posted, it, it links back, right? And then, Amy, this is where you're a genius, and this is why I think this is why we're teaching this video. Talk to us about this, also by Media Leaders. The, the, you're going to have a lot of eyes on any post that goes up on LinkedIn Publisher. And people who've gotten all the way down to the bottom of your writing there, They've already issued a vote of confidence for what you've written. They thought it was interesting enough to read it all the way down to the bottom. Yeah. If that is the case, give them something else. Give them a little bit more content that you've written. There is SEO value to having another another uh, website, of course, linked to your website. And yeah. each one of so it, if anything, it's going to create a little bit more traffic for you yeah. and lets people know what else you do. Yep, so we're pushing the Digital Growth Summit July 23rd. All of you watching this video should know about that in Santa Monica. Seven YouTube marketing tips for business, which is kind of a fun video about video, and 27 tips to be awesome at customer service, which is kind of cool. All right, so I think we have just about everything, and that really was the body, that was step four. Now let's go ahead and drop it in and, and uh, press Control A, Control C. It may not look perfect because it takes a little while to get it all perfect, but there we go, it's in there. And now uh, your next tip is get the H1s and the H2s ready. Well, this is going to be our H1. Is that right, Amy? That's right. The, it, and I'm, I'm curious as to why there is an option to have the H2 in the body of, or the H1 in the body yeah. of the, the text, because typically you want your subtitles to be an H2. That's exactly right. So I've already set those as H2. You can turn that on and off. And I believe I've already done that elsewhere. So we'll click that on and off. Those of you that are watching this, you can... You can verify that as well, but I really have nice big steps that are key takeaways. I love key takeaways. People skim, people do not read anymore. We live in a world of skimmers and bullet. Everybody loves bullets. All right, uh, did I miss anything, Amy? Can I jump on a, a tip number six? Go. Okay, so we already talked about dropping it in and then the links, look how nice this looks. It looks really great. Uh, we could, you can't test it in here. So the trick that I'm going to do, and we're probably not going to do this, is um, we could click publish. Now I'm going to click that, but we're not actually going to publish it. So publish. Before you publish your edits, tag a post to help people find it. So let's go ahead and get out of that. There's one thing we forgot, and that's type down here in the bottom. Those of you that can see this, email, and I type in the word email and press space, email marketing, and you can add tags. 
email marketing, email, just just email, email strategy you could do. I tried MailChimp. MailChimp. Oh, MailChimp does work. We could add that to our other one. So you get the ideas. So we've got a couple tags so that people can go find cool stuff. Then we could click publish. It puts my eyes up there. Interesting. And are you sure you want to publish this? No, I don't because we already did it. But hopefully everybody gets the steps. Let's go. Um, Amy, do we miss anything? Um, no, but let's go have a look at the one that you already published. Great. And those of you watching this, you can click save and you can save it. It doesn't mean it's published. It's really saved as a draft and you're previewing WYSIWYG style. Let's go take a look at this one and see what happened. So we've got our draft. We've got this one. Um, how, do, how about we go take a look? We click on my profile and it will show that um, do you have any professional organizations? But we get a lot of those. So let's go look at this. It says, published by Josh, how to set up a MailChimp newsletter. And you've got the little ones up here. Two people liked your post. Amy liked, viewed your profile. Um, where do you want me to click, Amy? Uh, on Right on that. Yep, there you go. Great. And then awesome. you see that that... How long ago did we publish that, Josh? 10 Probably minutes? 10 minutes ago or less. We've got four eyeballs, two thumbs up. And then there's also a place to the very right of that where if someone were to comment, it would let you know. Yeah, when you click there, be the first to comment and start the conversation. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, Trevor, a digital media analyst. Kind of fun. Okay, very cool. So let's go ahead and review what we've talked about, everybody. We're gonna we're gonna go look at just some of these tactic tactics. First, the image is about 698 by 400. Second, LinkedIn puts your profile photo in the bottom middle. There's one thing that we did not show you that I thought is will really blow this out of the water, and it's my favorite thing. We embedded a video in here. And what I want to show all of you here real quick is, let's keep going and I'll come back and show you the video. And then we, we put the title in the box and we set our H1s and H2s. We dropped in our content. We put by Josh Oaks, it links back to our site, read it on Media Leaders. Um, you were great at, I put in this, this post so that it shows that, hey, give us uh, SEO juice if you do steal it, robots. And then also by media leaders. Probably could have bolded them by media leaders. And then there's links, which I love. I think this is really great. And Amy, that was all your idea. I loved it. Now, those of you that are watching this, I've got one more little tip that I want to go back to home. I want to go back to publish a post and see if I can see my draft up here. This is my draft. There's one thing that we did that I want to show you that will make this more powerful. I clicked in here, I hit enter a carriage return, and I clicked the add a video button. And it says, you can add media from YouTube, sli uh, slides here, Vimeo, TED, Livestream, or Getty Images, include their embed here. Awesome. So let's go include that embed. Now on my site, I embedded it. All I do is I click here in the top, or as you're playing it, you can click somewhere in there. It opened it up in a new video, and this is really a video about how to set up MailChimp. Don't put this link up there, which I was about to do, I tried to do earlier. Click the share button right here. Click embed, and then we found that the best embed is the one where you click show more right here, and you set it up to be 640 by 360. You can also make it larger, but 640 by 360 seemed to be the best for what we wanted. And you drop it in over here, and then click Add Media. Now you're doing something that I don't, now I just, I just accidentally deleted that, but now you're doing something that I don't see that many people doing. You have media inside of LinkedIn, which is really helpful. And as you can view from some of our other blog posts, video is really a great way to educate people and win over the best interest of them to turn prospects into customers. All right, enough from me. Amy, how did we do? Oh, it's awesome. Great job, Josh. Looking Thank forward to seeing so more for, video posts from you. Thank you so much for that. Those of you that are watching the video, um, go to medialeaders.com, check out some of our other tactical tips that you can use. We really are here to help you shine online as a business. We also have a kids program called safesmartsocial.com where we take all of our business best practices, teaching companies how to put their best foot forward on the web, and we apply it to teenagers and sometimes tweens. We teach kids that you need to impress colleges and future employers with a positive online social media image. 
And we teach them exactly how to do that, especially in my new book called Light, Bright, and Polite, How to Use Social Media to Impress Colleges and Future Employers. You can click the links below to learn more. I'm so honored that you watched this video. Thanks for joining us and to Amy for uh, writing this guest blog post. Take care, everybody. Have a great day.